Hello you guys, what is up and welcome to the first cash stuffing of April. This year is literally flying by. I don't know how that's possible and I am going to have a one year old this month. So that's crazy. Um, if y'all are new, hi, welcome. My name is Savannah and I am a stay at home mom that uses YouTube and Etsy to supplement our family's income and pay some of the bills and help take care of our family. So that is what I have going on over here. And in today's video, we are going to be stuffing $500. That was a part of one of my latest Etsy launches. Um, I've already taken account for taxes and paying myself back for business expenses. And I like to split up my Etsy income into a couple of different stuffings throughout the month so that I can kind of keep my money sorted. So what we're going to do first is start stuffing my bills and we're just going to jump right into it. So all of my bills are starting at zero because it is the first of the month when I'm filming this. Um, so yeah, did you guys do any April Fool's pranks? Please let me know. I did not do any pranks, but I saw a bunch of videos of people doing pranks and they were hilarious. So I think that is so freaking funny. So we're starting off first with $50 into utilities. Um, and then secondly, we are gonna put 20 for Xfinity. And if you hear Stella snoring, please disregard that. <laughs> um, anyway, so 20 for Xfinity. And then electric bill, we are doing 30. But I hope you guys had a great Easter. We spent lots of time with my family and it was amazing. We love seeing them. So that was really great. Um, but now we are back to reality and now I am in full blown prep for my son's first birthday party, which is gonna be in the middle of April. So I'm planning that and I'm thinking about doing a mini Etsy launch um, either before that or after that, I haven't decided. So. Um, yeah, that's what I've been working on. So I've been super busy and now I'm trying to really focus on planning his party. So it should be super fun. So we are doing $20 for car insurance and you guys, we are already at $120 and this is not due until September. So that is so, 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 so good. So 120. And I don't know the end goal for this, it's probably gonna be around seven or eight hundred dollars. So I definitely need to keep adding to this. But this is already a great number to be at uh, for just being at the beginning of April. And then Stella, I am putting thirty dollars. Hopefully my mouth is right there. But I need to get her flea and heartworm medicine soon, so I'm gonna be saving up for that. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, and 75. My math was correct. So yeah, I'll probably do that. I don't know when, probably soon. All right, and then for lawn care. All right, so we're gonna be adding a total of $55, but I am gonna split that between both of my subcategories here. So, I think that should put us at 295. It doesn't really matter. This number doesn't really matter because they're separate. So, um, for the mowers, I'm going to be putting 25. And starting this month, I am going to have to start paying them myself. So my landlord is no longer going to pay for that. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 150 for the mowers. And this is a really good head start because um, I think they're only going to come twice a month to, uh, for now. And then back here I have landscaping funds. So I'm going to put 30 into here. And this is for stuff that I want to spruce up the yard with. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 45, and 150. So actually it should be 300. Oh well. Like I said, it really doesn't matter like too, too much because I'm probably going to be spending this money 
very soon and they are separate so this is like a total amount so it doesn't really matter too too much and then my phone bill we are putting um 20 but yeah i'm going to be buying some flowers here at probably this weekend um because the party is in two weeks so definitely want to do that probably this weekend um, so how much? So 150 So that should be enough to get some flowers for the yard. And then let's see, hospital bill. So if you guys watched my condensing, I said that I was going to try and pay double this month. And we are already at $80, so it's definitely a good possibility of me being able to do that. So I want to make an extra payment this month. So, so far... Uh, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, and 130. Oh, for sure. Okay, so we're already at 130. My bill is 160. So let me just see something really quick. So, okay, so 160 times 2 minus 130. So 190 divided by two. Okay, it's I'm gonna have to put, oh, maybe I'll divide it by three and use my YouTube check. I don't know, I will definitely have to um, bulk this up, but I do wanna make an extra payment this month. So that way we can do two rows here. I think that would be fun. All right, speaking of my baby's birthday, we are gonna be adding 50 more dollars and if my math is correct, I should have just added five more dollars. But anyways, let's go ahead and see. And I don't know if I'm going to be using all of this money. I probably will, to be honest. But I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. So, so far we have 220, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95. So 395. Okay. So that is really, 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 really exciting. And like I said, it is in two weeks. So I have a little bit more time to save up for that. And then lastly, we are putting five into my renter's insurance. And this is due in September, and it is around $200. So um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90. So we're about halfway there, and we still have a pretty good amount of time. So that is really exciting. All of our bills are accounted for. And now we are going to move to my sinking funds. So we're going to start with my general savings account and this is going to be getting $10 and I have this money in a high yield savings account accruing interest and if you guys have high yield savings account I just got oh you you understand but we just got all of the interest paid from this past month and I just absolutely love seeing those deposits in my account because it's just like making money off money that I have sitting in there. It's just so great. I love it so, 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 so much. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and seven. Why are all of my numbers off? Oh yeah, that is 75. Okay. It's me. Hello. And then in the account, I have um, almost 1,600. So whenever this reaches $100, I will deposit it and start over with another hundred. So you gotta love that. And then for our emergency, we recently hit 1300 in here and I'm gonna add 10. So when I did my condensing, I did add hundreds in here. So now we have 1000 in the high yield savings, one, two, 310. So that feels really good to have that building up. And then my self-care is gonna get 20. And I really, 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 really need to go get some more 
stuff for my nails. I need some more base, I need um, some more of my base coat and um, I wanna get a new color. So I'm gonna probably go to the nail supply store at some time this week. So 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And then I still wanna get something for my hair, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and then fun, I'm gonna put 20 in here. And as I always say, I'm not saving up for anything in particular. Um, I just wanna have a little nest egg of money here in case something comes up that we wanna do. Um, we'll have some money set aside. So we have 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80 dollars in fun, which is actually adding up quite nicely. All right, moving on to my crawfish savings challenge, crawfish sinking fund. Um, we're putting ten dollars, and this is for whenever my friends or my family want to go out and get crawfish. Um, I have a little bit of money set aside um, to do so. So let's go ahead and add a 10 in here. And now we only have one more bubble left. This is from Robin's Documented Life. I love her so freaking much. So let's see, let's add the, did I already add it? I don't think I did. All right, so 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 dollars wow so that is enough probably for one trip so now we just have to plan something but i love having this money set aside here for whenever i want to do that and then let's see my baby's envelope is going to get ten dollars and this is just a savings for him um just for just a general savings i have uh, this money right here in his high yield savings account that I have for him. So 1000 is sitting in there and then we're going to add 10 more. So 20, 40, 50, 55, and $60. And this is just accumulating. I don't really have a set purpose for it, but, um, oh, you know what? Let me just color in half a bear because I really want to see this finished and um i need to color in some bears so let's do half of this blue and then whenever i stuff 10 more dollars i will color in the other half and this tracker right here is from sunny budgets i love her so freaking much and then my future house is going to get 10. And I need to wipe off these trackers soon because they are getting pretty low. And I forgot I did put this money in the bank. So, um, all right. So anyways, let's add 10. So we have 1,500 in my future house, high yield savings account accruing interest. And then we have 10, 15, 20, and 25. So 1,525. And we are not moving anytime soon. This is just slowly saving up for um, like a down payment on a future house, which I definitely want to have going as a little ticking sinking fund here because um, something is better than nothing being saved. And I definitely want to have that going. So when the time comes to have a house, I at least have something saved up. And um yeah, okay, so let's see, car maintenance is gonna get 15, and I really wanna focus on bulking this up because you never know, you never freaking know. So in the future, I will be adding more to this, and I think I'm gonna do, no, I'm just gonna do a 10 and a five. All right, so we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 265. I definitely want to get this to like at least like 500, but even if I hit, if I ever hit 500, I am not going to stop. I'm just going to keep going um, because you literally can never have too much in car maintenance. 
And then let's see. Uh, my future car down payment. This is just going to get its normal five. This is just a super duper slow category that I have started saving for a future car down payment um, whenever I need to get a new car. So we have 100, 110, and 120 in here. Like I said, this is like super long tail, just super duper slowly saving up for that. And then medical, I'm going to put 10. I'm so happy that I get to touch like every single category this week. It feels so good. Oh, this is at 100 now. I didn't realize. So this is just for anything little that we need. Med that's, you know, medical, like medicines or if there's a copay or anything like that. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100 dollars. That is very exciting. So I'm just gonna keep adding to this. I don't have a goal for this fund either. It's just an ongoing fund. Okay, and holidays. So here's the deal. I am putting 20, but I'm actually not gonna put 20. I'm gonna put this in my account because I bought something for um, Father's Day and I'm just gonna pay myself back for it. It was like $22, but I'm just gonna take 20 and just take the two for my buffer. So I'm gonna deposit this in my account to repay myself. But um, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. So I'm not even gonna write it down because it's literally pointless. And then Christmas, girl, you already know it's getting its normal 20. I am so proud of myself for staying consistent with stuffing $20 in here every single time I um, do a stuffing. So I'm super proud of that. I know we're only at $180, but this adds up. And by the time it gets to Christmas, it will be a nice little amount ready for me to spend on all my family and friends. So we have 100 in my high yield savings account for Christmas, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. So 180. I will be continuously adding to this till Christmas. So I cannot wait to see how much I will be able to save. And then lastly is retirement. And this is almost at 500, you guys. I really should have looked at this before I um, divvied up this money because I definitely would have made this 500. But we are going to be at 495, I believe. So next time I will definitely have to round that off to 500. But we have 400 in the high yield savings, 450, 470, 480, 490, and 495. Whew, girl. Yeah, this had over $900 in it at one point, but I had to take some money out for, um, I decided to use that money to pay off my credit card, so, or a hospital bill or something. So anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. I feel like we went pretty quickly, but, um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I appreciate y'all. Uh, spending your time with me watching this video and hanging out and catching up while I stuff my first little paycheck of April. So I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in and I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye guys.